Are we okay? I'm back again with this one now. So I'm moving on to the next example. Um, I'm going to show you the long way for this algebra and then we'll do the short way. Right, so because it's x plus 70, I'm going to look for my answers between 70 and if I add on 70 to 4 for 360, I'll get 430 there. So that's where I'm going to look for my answers. And then I'll take 70 off it in the end. So similar idea for the principal angle. Does that give me 30 degrees? Yeah. We'll leave that like that. That's in both of them, but that must be left as that one. Right, so... I want to look from not from 70 to 430, but I want to kind of graph it in so it looks nice. So I'm going to graph it to like the nearest the zeros and 90s that work. So I'm going to go from 0 to 450. So that'll give me the numbers that I want. Right, there's my calculator. Then. So I'm going to graph sine x. That's it. This sine, isn't it? So sine of x and 0.5 but I'm going to look so I've got no I'm going to do 0 to 450 but I'm only going to want answers that lie between um, 70 and 430 so let's have a look at this then so if I do G solve and intersect the first one is 30 now that's outside of it isn't it because I'm looking from 70 to 430 so I'm ignoring the 30. So I'm going to ignore the 30 degrees. Because when I take 70 off it at the end, oops, when I take 70 off it at the end, I'll have a negative number. And I'm looking for final answers between 0 and 360. So the next one's 150. So my x plus 70 is 150. And my x plus 70 is 390. So then I'll take the 70 off it and I've got 80 degrees and I've got 320 degrees. And them are my final answers. So my final answers, so I might be looking from 70 to 430, but my final answers are lying between 0 and 360. And so are these ones here if you look. They're all between 0 and 360. Proper messy. So this is if I have to think about something with algebra, because I'm using the symmetry of the graph to help me. If it isn't, if it's just like normal, let's call it normal, then all I do is graph what I see. So I'm going to graph sine of x plus 70, and I'm going to graph 0 0.5. And I'm going to look at those between 0 and 360. So let's just change that on this one here. So I've got sine of uh, x plus 70. And I'm going to do 0 to 360. In many ways, this is the way we should just be doing it. We've got that picture. We do my G solve and my intersect. I automatically get x is 80 x is 320. So simple. Graph what you see. That's all. Uh, in many ways, this is where it should be done, but them are there for the algebra questions. Well, I've got an alpha for a root on f. I think, all right, the other one is 360. Take it away. <sighs> I don't know. What time are we on? Four minutes. Do I do the next one? Let's have a look at the next one then. So the next one's a disguised quadratic. So it's 4 lots of something squared plus 7 lots of something minus 2. So in poly, I'm going to put 4, 7 and minus 2. So let's do that in poly. So menu, equation. I hope you're all enjoying your days off. We've got inset today, um, meetings, and I'm just in between doing stuff. I'm just sneaking a bit of recording because I was poorly for about four days or so. I lost quite a lot of time chance to record. 
Right, so from that it gives me a quarter and it gives me minus 2. Now if it were just x 4x squared plus 7x minus 2, it would be x equals, well this is a disguised quadratic, so I take the sum thing and put it there. So it's sine of, is that a half x? And sine of a half x. In terms of complexity, this one's just gone through the roof because we've got a disguised quadratic. But now if you look at it, and it's also a half x, so I'd be looking half as far. Um, but also now I've got this here where this one's out of the range because we know that sine only bounces between plus or minus 1. So this one's got no solution. As, now I want to say that sine bounces between plus or minus 1. So I use the modulus sine of x. So that tells me plus or minus is less than or equal to 1. So that says it lies between plus or minus 1. So that one's got no solutions. This one, however, so I've got a half x is the inverse sine of a quarter. So a half x is, if I cheat and use a completed pack, uh, that gives me 14.48 degrees. Now, for this, because it's a half x, instead of looking between 0 and 360, I'm only going to look between 0 and 180. So let me get the calc up. Uh, so I want menu 5. It was sine of x. Is a quarter. And I'm only looking between 0 and 180. Oops. Oh, come on, work. There. So if I do G solve with it, it gives me, so let me just solve for a second. So a half x is 14.48, which I had. And then the next one is 16. Ooh, we're saying 165. Let's say so, aren't we? 165.52. On that picture, both those numbers add up to 180, don't they? If you look, so you can use that to help you. Now, to get from a half x, I just need to double it. So if I double it, I get x is so what's that? Twenty nine point. Oh, sorry, twenty eight point nine six and one sixty five three thirty. Oh, three thirty one point oh four. If you're being really technical. So look at the question. I want my answers between 0 and 360, but I had to look between 0 and 180. So this is the algebra way. So now if I just look at the easy way, easy, I just do y is sine of a half x, and I do y is oops, a quarter. You can see that as a quarter. 0.25, and I'm going to look between 0 and 360. Should really grab pictures with these, but because oh, it looks nice. So I've got a sine of a half x. Ooh, for that. Hang on, my x is on the bottom. I don't want my x on the bottom. That's a whole different graph. And a quarter, and I'm doing it from naught to 360. Uh, oh, where's that going there? 360. Yeah, same picture. Gives me straight away x is 28.96 and 331.04. There. I'm going to stop there. Nearly run out of time anyway. Dead hard these. I'm so, so sorry.